Hello, yes, I'd like to order a pizza, please. Yes, Carl Steinberg. I'm at uh, NWCT Studios. Should have the address on file. I'd like a cheese pizza with extra cheese. And how soon can you, uh, we're actually taping a show. Can you get that here pretty, that quick? Okay, good. And uh, yeah, I guess that, no, no, I've got waters. No, uh, no soda. Yep, what's the total? Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, wait, one more thing. Could you put a pine cone in the box? No, just a plain, just a pine, you know, just plain, right on the side. Okay, thank you. My name is Carl Steinberg. This is the Carl Steinberg Show. This is a special show for us. This is our one-year anniversary. And I wish I could say we've been consistent in our programs, but uh, we have had a lot of space uh, in between shows. As a matter of fact, our last program, the Summer Spectacular, uh, which you can find on YouTube, uh, that show, we had a break of three months before we did that show. And uh, I meant to explain on the last program why we had that long break, uh, but I, we just ran out of time. Uh, what happened was I was in jail, frankly. Uh, it was nothing terrible. I didn't steal a car or forge a check or anything like that. Uh, I was playing, uh, we were gambling, me and Eric and Dazia. Uh, it was such a nice day, we decided to play some craps out in the back alley. And I was rolling them sevens and winning all those pots. Uh, my luck was so good, I could do no wrong. I just kept rolling and controlling them bones. Finally, they threw up their hands and said, when you're hot, you're hot. And I said, yeah, I guess so. Well, we kept playing and I kept winning. And suddenly I looked over my shoulder and there was a big old cop. He said, hello boys. And then he gave us a grin. He said, I guess I might have to haul y'all in and take all that money for evidence. I said, well, when you're hot, you're hot. So we went down to uh, City Hall, and the judge was an old fishing buddy I recognized. So I said, hey, old judge, old buddy, old pal, how about I pay you back that $100 I owe you, and you get me and my friends here out of this spot? So he gave Eric and Dazio a little fine to pay. Then he turned to me and said, 90 days, Carl. When you hot, you hot. I said, thanks a lot. So then I was in, in jail for three months, and, uh, and then we did that show. And uh, speaking of that show, there was a lot of stuff we didn't get to because both Eric and Dazia had their own 10-minute segments, leaving me with 10 minutes, minus the opening and the end credits and all that. Um, so there were some things we didn't get to. One of the things I had mentioned was a ca uh, cartoon. Uh, it's actually a flash animation by our friend Jason Dubin. It's called Gasoline Gus and his Jitney Bus, and we'd like to play it for you now. Let's watch. Did you ever hear the story? Did you ever hear the yarn? About what? About Gasoline Gus. He saved up a dollar, then he borrowed 20 cents. Then what? Bought a Jitney Bus. His coffee mill was made of tin, but tin was made to pack things in. He hung a sign and it read thus, This is gasoline, Gus, and his Disney bus. Gus, Gus, gasoline, Gus, gasoline, Gus, and his Disney bus. He packed them on the fenders and he packed them on the hood. He packed them by the dozen and the other dozen good. From out the heap there came a cry. Hey, take that suitcase out of my eye. Gus, Gus, gasoline Gus, gasoline Gus and his Jitney Bus. <laughs> Did I tell you what he purchased? Did I tell you what he used? Who used? Why, gasoline Gus. 
He bought a ton of dynamite. He bought a pint of gin. For what? For his kidney buzz. It got a bigger kick than gasoline. Said Gus as he loaded his tin machine. A lady said, don't go too far. Said Gus, it's not that kind of a car. Gus, Gus, gasoline Gus. But according to Hoyle, he's not back yet. Gus, Gus, gasoline Gus, gasoline Gus, and his Disney bus. Do you want to hear the finish? Do you want to hear the end? About what? About gasoline Gus. He bumped into old Satan and he got old Satan's gold. With what? With his Disney bus. Old Satan Brown said, take him out and let him ride my imp about. In 15 minutes, big as life, he was making love to the old boy's wife. Gus, Gus, gasoline Gus, gasoline Gus, and his Disney bus. They tell the old old Satan that his wife he had a look with a funny looking fellow in a funny little boat. Old Satan never turned a hair. He smiled and said, they're a perfect pair. Gus, Gus, gasoline Gus, gasoline Gus and his little bus. Wasn't that wonderful? I've watched that like 25 times already. And I contacted Jason because I noticed some of the characters in the animation were like political figures. Uh, and I asked him to explain, and he wouldn't give an explanation. He said, it's more interesting if you don't know. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And by the way, the music, uh, the Gasoline Gus and the Jitney Bus, was first recorded in, uh, I believe it was the 20s, late 20s, something like that, uh, by a man named Billy Murray. And it wasn't recorded on a record, it was recorded on one of these. This is an Edison blue Amberol cylinder. This is before records. And you pull it out of the little case here, and you can see that it's, uh, it's kind of like a record, but it's a cylinder. And the name of the song is right on the, the edge here. And so they would put this on a cylinder player, and uh, I don't know if it's a needle or what, but I've seen them before. It goes down like this, and it spins, and, this, and the song plays. And uh, this one is not the Billy Murray one, but, uh, but this is what it was uh, recorded on. And if you'd like to see one of these in person, see and hear one of these, you can go to the Pavic Museum in sunny St. Louis Park, Minnesota, they will show you their cylinders and uh, how to play them. They'll, they'll put them on a player for you. And uh, we were just out there again, me and Eric. It's amazing. As a matter of fact, Eric's out there right now to give us a little tour. Take it away, Eric. It's closed. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's right. It's Sunday. They're closed on Sunday. Uh, maybe this is a good time. I've got a brochure here. I should, I should have uh, looked at the hours. Yep, closed Sunday. Close Sunday through Tuesday and holidays, but they are open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, they have all kinds of wonderful things like theremins, woo, you know, those things. They're like, make this kind of space music. And uh, be sure to, to go, go down there and uh, Tell Daniel and, and Steve that Carl said hi. What is that noise? What? Oh, it's the pizza boy. Hello there. Just bring that pizza in. I've got your money. Right there's fine. And there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, don't forget your tip. Thanks, buddy. Have a nice day. Oh, I can smell it. This is going to be a good pizza. Mmm, look at that. Can you see that? 
Whoa, I'll lose my pizza here. I think I'll uh, wait till Eric comes back and then we'll both enjoy a slice. Oh, Eric, there you are now. Come on in. You know, you just missed the pizza boy. Oh, did I? Hey, they forget the pine cone. Oh, well. Um, would you like some? Yeah, I would. Thank you. Oh, I get so hungry doing these shows. Here, I got a water here for you. There you go. Ah, thank you, Carl. You're very accommodating. <laughs> well, I try. Oh, you know, I forgot to make my cue cards today. I was trying to think what we have next. Oh, the new bit. The new bit. Uh, we have... Uh, a new segment, shouldn't call it bit. <laughs> we have a new segment called the $24 joke. And what it is, you come on here, tell a joke, and if you can make me laugh, I'll give you $24. Uh, we haven't really uh, advertised it yet. This is our first <coughs> announcement, so we don't have any, we don't have anybody to, we've got a, a lovely stage and everything, but uh, we don't have anybody to go up and tell a joke. But if you'd like to come on and, uh, Possibly win $24. Just uh, contact us through our Facebook page. I'm going to have another piece of this. Hey, Carl. Yeah. You know, I dabble a little bit in stand-up. Uh, oh. you, you mind if I go up there and give it a whirl? The, yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. We can uh, try out the stage. Eric Longenecker and a $24 joke, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you, you're too kind, too kind. Uh, I wrote down all of my jokes to remind myself while I'm up here that, that I'm doing stand-up. Because <laughs> my memory, you know, isn't so good. It's not uncommon for me to leave the room to get a pen and some paper, only to come back 27 minutes later with a banana and a blanket. I know, it's frustrating, it's frustrating. <laughs> you know, if you were to walk a mile in my shoes, I think that'd be pretty weird. <laughs> Me looking all around for my shoes in my apartment? I swear to God, I left them right there. <laughs> you know, I've figured out that I can sing Christmas songs out of season while naked, all day long, if I just don't leave my apartment. Because otherwise, things can take a turn for the worse quickly. You know, I'm really glad they invented Facebook. You know, because prior to that, I found myself walking around aimlessly, giving random people the thumbs up. You know, walking in the restaurants, going up to people. That plate of food looks delicious. Yeah, you know, I have this friend, he likes to post inspirational messages on Facebook. But his spelling is horrible. And he doesn't use any punctuation whatsoever. That's, that, you know, that's okay though. It's his lack of education that's truly inspiring. Yeah. Hey man, thanks, you just inspired me to read a book. Maybe throw in a comma every once in a while in my own posts. You know, my last name is Longenecker, right? I know that in itself is funny. But my last name is Longenecker, and I've had people on Facebook ask me if that's a made-up name. <laughs> Come on, really? Are you kidding me? Seriously? If I'm gonna make up a name, it's gonna be something cool. <laughs> you know, like, uh, Wim Tractorburg. <laughs> or, uh, you know, uh, Cleotis Whamtort. 
You know, something cool. <laughs> Definitely not long enough. Yeah, so I've decided I'm going to dye my hair camouflage and go out into the woods and take a profile pic so I will appear to be bald. <laughs> you know, the truth is, I really don't have very many friends. People think I'm either too weird or invisible. You know, I do have some anonymous Facebook followers, though, which I think is pretty strange. Yeah, people follow me around, you know. Uh, maybe one of them knows where I left my wallet. You know, I'm a big sports fan, but I don't like to wear sports apparel. No, you know, like jerseys and things like that. I just don't want to give people the wrong impression. You know, because I'm not on the team. <laughs> yeah, despite my appearance, I am not prepared to catch the ball. <laughs> you know, it kind of bugs me. Every time we have hail, people always want to use the same old objects for comparison. <laughs> you know, like, uh, that's golf ball size hail. <laughs> or, uh, you know, that's baseball size hail. Come on, man, Let, let's mix it up a little bit, you know? Come up with some more creative descriptions. You know, how about like, uh, foosball size hair? <laughs> or how about Armenian, bleh. Armenian, <laughs> yeah, you know, this is my first time doing this. Armenian pileated wood duck egg size hail. I don't know. Even better yet, that lump you get on your forehead when somebody beats you with your selfie stick sized hail. Make things more interesting. You know, I don't do this ever, so that's why I'm doing it. Thank you, Eric. That was really good. It was supposed to be one joke, but that's fine. Hmm, I owe you $24, I guess. Pretty easy money, huh? Wait a second, Carl, it's here. a $24 joke, right? Yep. I told 24. way more than one joke. No, it's not $24 per joke, it's, it's the $24 joke. You only get, I mean, you, yeah, you told a bunch, we're trying to uh, try it out here and everything, but there's only 24. All right, don't feel bad. Let's see, I got six, seven. I don't have, I'll have to write you a check for for the rent. Do you mind? That's all right, Carl. Can I? Okay, after the show. Well, uh, actually, right now, we're going to take a short commercial break, and we'll be, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We'll be right back with more Carl Steinberg show. Hmm. And we're back. Well, I think that's the end of our show. So, oh, you know what? There's something we haven't done in quite a while. Uh, we haven't had guests in a while. The Magic Bag. Let's see if we have something in here for our friend Eric. Oh, we do. It's a can of mushroom and barley soup. How do you like that, Eric? Oh, man, I'm digging it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I eat that soup often. Okay, I guess that's the end of our show. Thank you, Eric, for joining us. And oh, I, I wanted to say one more thing about our beautiful set. Thanks to Javi, who did our set last time, too. But isn't this wonderful, all these colors? These fabulous colors. And uh, I'd especially like those pink gels, which, if you remember from our first show, and it's nice since this is our first year anniversary, we had those same pink lights, and then they were lost. We couldn't find them. Our friend Nikki Johnson 
she found them for us, and we're very thankful. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Good night. Good night, everybody. Извините, что редко пишу вам, дорогие мои старики. По надкам и поземка бушует, но у нас холодам вопреки. Каждым днем бой за тройку все жалче, и в минуты и девушки ри. Ведь КАМАЗ это многое значит, просто главная стройка страны. И стал изори, как пламя, а в этом раздаже и как. Такого нигде нет, только на хаме, на бережных челнах. If you've enjoyed the program you've just watched, please call our viewer response line at 763-533-1710 and leave a comment about the show. Be sure to include the name of the program in your message.